So Gaffer, obviously, doesn't end the way we want to tonight, but what's your overall take on that? It's, it's, it's a cruel game at the moment for us, um, that is for sure. Um, coming off a Tuesday where we've created double the amount of chances, had a goal chalked off, you know, it shouldn't have been, and, and, and moments where... We're living in moments in games at the moment. I think they, we've got a magnet in the top corner in our goal at the moment. We've got, a, you know, and I think today, if you ask me what am I looking for, what we're we looking to try and do in the game, how, what we're we looking to try and create, we've, we've hit every box. The boys played superbly well um, again. Um, we're definitely getting better, that is for sure, because statistically we're creating a hell of a lot more chances, a lot more action. Um, you know, we've hit the post, we've hit the stanchion. Um, then we've been woefully wasteful in front of goal, which is, which is a shame where they've stuck one crossbar and in top corner and then a low fizzing effort from our corner. Um, again, a, a, you know, we're having a really good spell in the game. We find ourselves one nil down. So these are things we've got to learn from. We've got to be better. You know, we're, when we're in good spells, when we're creating, when we're doing well, we've got to make sure that we're locked out. We've got to make sure that we're um, ready for any counter threat. Because um, they possess probably the strongest counter threat in the league, and you know we, we, we were playing without doubt one of the strongest teams in the league. Um, you know, star studded really for our level, and you know, did we go toe to toe with them? Absolutely. Did you know? I think um, I'm probably right in saying we probably created more chances, if not double the chances, but the scoreline says says different. So can't feel sorry for ourselves. Um, it's a similar theme from Tuesday. We got to lick our wounds. We got. To, we got to learn because, you know, half a step wrong and the ball's flying in the top corner. Um, so we're getting harshly punished at the moment. But long term, that'll be good because we've got to be tighter. We've got to be even more secure. So this given us, again, loads of opportunities to learn. Um, what I would say is our, our execution in each box needs to be better. Uh, and we've got to grow as a group in terms of the communication and, and, the, and, the, and the voices that we're giving to each other can, can help us out. And especially in a period like this, um, we, we, we can't, go, can't go short anywhere. So we're just looking, how do we improve? How do we get better? There's chances there that things we could have done better. But on the whole, the amount of opportunities we've made, law of averages, you're going to win games of football You know, if you create that more than, than the other team. So we've got to work on, uh, on that final product. Um, especially on a slick pitch like this. I think, you know, the message didn't quite compute well enough, really. And, and again, the boys are so desperate to score, so desperate to win. You know, they're giving everything for it, but we can't act desperate in, in the box. We've got to be a little bit more calm and composed in those, in those times because, you know, if you're a betting man or a statistician man, you'll look at the, the XG and the chances created and the areas we got in. And if you didn't know the result, you'd be saying something different. So, um, but this game's about the scoreline and what you do in both boxes, and we've, we failed. So, harsh reality, another big steep learning curve. Are we on the right lines? Are we doing the right things? Yes. Now we've got to go and get the fruits for our labour because we are, you know, we're growing as a group. We're managing. It's, it's difficult at times because we're managing minutes. I'm make, taking people off that I need to look after. You know, another one's gone today. A couple couldn't make it today with, with injuries and stuff like that. So, you know, the games are coming thick and fast. It, we're, get, we're getting some harsh lessons taught to us at the moment. So, yeah, we're in choppy waters and it's tough. But it's up to me now to steer that, calm it, you know, keep, keep it positive around us and the group. Any negativity can't have anywhere near us, you know. Um, you know, if you're going to shoot anyone, if you're feeling frustrated, then, yeah, it's my fault when we lose. Always my fault. So, you know, but... Players are giving everything. We're growing. We're getting better. Brandon got on the pitch again. Calvin got on the pitch. We're growing minutes. Robbo started his second game in two years. Like these are these are good signs. So you know, we know longer term when we come through this little period, when we get our players on the pitch, fit and ready, um, better days are to come. But while we're preparing for that time, you can't keep thinking next game. This game is about no dealing with it now. And we've produced enough moments in that game to get that first win on the board today and we and we haven't um you know credit to Bourne Wood that was you know that was a clinical a clinical performance from them uh, and you know like I said they're a magnificent outfit with, with quality all over you could see that the changes they were making and they keep the energy and the power and the pace so even in, in you know our probably 
areas of control was when we were most at our weakest. So that's something we've got to look at and work on. Definitely. I think like I was speaking to a couple of the Vaughan Woods guys before this, and they were saying how the way football we play and the way of moving the ball around today was, was really stand out. And they said themselves actually that we're facing good football and it's just those final touches and stuff. How do we sort of approach that differently when we're coming to the game obviously on Monday when we're playing, we're playing obviously at home? Like, we, I think we've got to be a little bit more organised and well, ruthless in both boxes. You know, that's, it's a mentality thing as well as a technical thing. The technical follows the mental and I think we're probably a bit anxious in both boxes where we haven't quite got the results and we know how important it is. So it's actually, we're probably clenching up a little bit where actually we need to play a little bit more free and let, let it be a little bit more natural, you know? I, I drew attention to making sure we had low hard finishes with the beautiful surface and unfortunately we went the opposite and sometimes it is that elephant in the room, you know, don't think of it and, and you do it. So, you know, it's just uh, supporting the players. It's just keep getting back on the bike. Mm. You know, the more times we get in there, it's going to go in. It's going to go in and that feelings of hitting the net. There's, there's no better feeling than winning a game of football. The next best feeling is hitting the back of the net. Yeah. And that euphoric feeling just transfers through the players, into the stands, into that belief. And that's all we're waiting for. So we're playing for moments. You know, we can't be too desperate. Yes, we know we've got to get results and, and we're, we're trying to chase them down. But we're still early on. But I can't chase it down so hard, so hard that we lose players and I, you know, get drawn into starting Brandon today, and we lose him. You know, I've lost Ben Greenwood at the end there. You yeah. know, he's about the only one I couldn't protect. Everyone else, you know, I tried to get them off the pitch to to keep building them because I need them. I can't lose anymore, um, especially when we're we're in build stage still, which is frustrating. Um, but I need some of my more able soldiers who have been around me on the pitch and slowly getting that but I don't want to you know we're losing ones as we're trying to get ones back so it's a little bit chicken and egg at the moment for me yeah uh, and we're just you know what I'm looking for the football gods and a little bit of lady luck as well at the moment but we will always control what we can control you know what what I can control as a manager as a coach my staff and from the players you you want to nullify and keep the team you're playing against to limit their chances the best you can and you're trying to get as many chances as you can we won that today, um, so the next bit is now that ruthlessness in, in each box, but also not adding any more pressure to these players. They, they know what's at stake. They're giving everything. Um, that win ain't far away. I can tell you that much. Yeah, and uh, we've got a you know another game Monday, so I'm certainly uh, can't get on the pitch quick enough. That's how we need to be, and I'm, I'm going to need everyone to be sort of around us. There's going to be some frustrating moments, and this isn't the start we we wanted. Um, you know, we should have points on board. You know, I think we're, the only disappointing day was probably Hemel at Saturday. Other than that, we've produced more than enough to get points out of those games statistically. And I know I've said that a few times, but it's important not to lose sight of that in these moments yeah. and make and get a feel of doom and gloom around the place. That's not. Football only makes a moment to change. We've got to fight for that moment. We've got to fight for that moment to lift the, the confidence of the group, but also to lift our fans. So they can become that, that 12th man and be powerful for us. And, you know, we put any one of them hat for the chances today away. And it, the feeling of that game, you know, feels a lot different. Whereas they had their moment, they took it and it deflates the whole situation. It's almost, especially with, you know, they've scored goals at, at key times in the game, probably at times when we were having a few good attacks ourselves. But yeah, yeah look, we'll learn, we'll move on. We, we you know, players will get up and running more. We just got to go deeper, keep the belief high, dig deeper, go deeper into our process, because our process will take care of it. Yeah, ultimately in the long run, I'm I'm, I'm convinced of that. You, you've um, seen the success of what we've done before when we stuck to a process. We're trying to get a team up and running in a brutally tough league. Yeah, uh, and we probably just caught caught at the start a little bit cold of probably a few influential characters being on the pitch at the right the right time. But at now we've getting a, we're getting a lot more learning into into the other group, you know the so-called younger players are now getting used to the rigors of, of non-league, and you know we've got to just make sure we're improving. If we keep improving, we'll, we'll be all right. And like you said earlier, it's a bit difficult when people keep coming up to you after and going, "Oh, you lot be all right. You play, yeah. you know." Da, 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 da. No, we can't can't be that nice team. No, you know that's just this is the bit. And the take home from it is we don't want to be this this nice team that doesn't execute. You know, this game is about both boxes. Yeah. And we've been brilliant in between them. Uh, but inside them, a lot of work to be done. Perfect. We'll see you Monday. Up a go again. Look forward to it. Cheers.